What's up guys, it's Ashby here, and I'm on Gabe's channel. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, what's up guys, it's Palms, and I've got my second part to my tutorial of my 3D text, and today we're going to cover on materials and how to add color and good color to your uh, text. So what you want to do is just create a new material. And right away, just double click on the material down here in the left. Oh, and if you didn't know how to create a new material, it's File, New Material, or just Control N or Command N if you're on a Mac. Uh, so now what you're going to do is you're going to want to right click on the material and go to Object Soft Shadows towards the bottom. Now, you just want to keep that as it is, that little gray, 204, 204, 204, if you're paying attention to RGB. And now you're going to want to go to Texture. Who does that? Effect, and then Loomis. And so now you want to double click on the Loomis. And <clears throat> then you want to go to the color. Um, now, you always want to have it darker, normally darker than um, what your color is. So you normally want to go to R and just type in 90. And then you drag around <clears throat> actually you can start from 90 just to start and you know, type in 90 for R and then 0 for G 0 for B and then whatever color you're doing just scroll along on the color bar until you find the color that you're doing so like if I was just doing this blue um, you want to do the dark blue the darkest just leave it right there press OK so now you're gonna want to go to specular 1 and you're going to start with the lightest color of that blue. So right about there. Go to the second specular. And go to a little bit darker of that color. Specular 3. And go to a little bit darker of that color. And so one second, be right back, guys. All right, guys, sorry about that. Okay, so we're we're continuing from where we left off. Um, you're gonna want to go to your make sure you're double clicked on your Loomis. Um, then you're gonna want to go to make sure your specular one. Now this is what you're gonna change for the intensity. You want to go to 85 percent. For the size, go to 12 percent. For the contrast, you want to stay at zero. For the glare, 200 and fall off 100. Give you a second to copy those down if you want to pause the video. Now for specular two, go to for the intensity, drag in ninety-five. For the size, sixty. Contrast zero, fall or glare two hundred and fall off fifty. And then for specular three, put the intensity to a hundred, size to a hundred, contrast zero glare 75 and fall off 50 and then just make sure or make sure that anisotropy anisotropy is unchecked for active and then you're good to go so now you've got your nice nice looking uh, material um, hope you guys paid attention for that and so that's your material for um, the top one for the main text but remember you can do that for any one of them and then <clears throat> what you're going to do is I normally just have a gray, a nice gray. Um, normally uh, you can really just do a nice white. So if you want to go to new material, uh, just don't do the object this time. Just keep it like this. Um, you could do just the regular gray. And then, if you wanted to do um, add a Loomis again, effects Loomis, and then pretty much all you'd want to do is just change everything to white, um, and then go back to those settings. So 85, 12, 0, 200, 100, 95, 60. 0, 250, and then um, 100, 
100, 0, 75, 50. And then just make sure those are darker each time. And then you might as actually well go to object soft shadow. It would just look a lot better. Um, and so yeah, that's that'd be a good white to use. And then you just pretty much add it to the rest of your or to the rest of your text layers. Otherwise, you can just uh, do whatever color you guys would want. But now I'm just gonna a little pre-render this with a little ambient occlusion. Um, so give that a second to render. Um, and then part three, guys, I will upload. Um, the next time I uh, upload this tutorial, I might throw a speed art in between these two parts. Um, so just pay attention for that, and then that'll be on how to or what Photoshop effects that you would like to do, or that you should do to make it look as sexy as my text. Wow. Yes, Ashby. You know I just you're said so it. conceited. <laughs> Anyways, guys, as you can see, it's already looking pretty nice. Um, it's got a nice edge glow already on it, um, and the materials are looking pretty nice. Um, and yeah, so that's my tutorial, guys. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. So, please leave a like and a comment. Um, I will leave Ashby's channel link in the description. If you want to go check him out, please do so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so just watch out for part three within the next couple days. So, Ashby? If you want to uh, yeah, man, uh, hit me up on Twitter, you know. Yeah, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's <laughs> personal. Anyways, guys, all right. Shout, shout out to Fair Rocks because he be a bitch. <laughs> yeah, we love Joey. Shout out to Gabe because that kid be a boss. Yeah, man. Shouts out to Odd Future because they're weird. <laughs> Shouts out to subscribers and viewers because you guys hear me being retarded. So, yeah, guys, there we go. Uh, just please leave a comment and a like. And, uh, yeah, tell me how I did. All right. Peace. Bye. <laughs>